First off, shout out to Chris Unbiased Battle Rap Review Group. I mean, it was like three posts going on differently about the Adrian Brona fight. And uh, I was on all three of them. We all had fun, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is the best the best battle rap debate group because we all talk about a lot of different things in there, man. It was a, it was a nice hangout spot. And uh, so shout out to all the people I was conversing with in there. And I'll be right back in there as soon as I upload this. But um, the way you beat Adrian Broner from now on, unless he takes a serious look at himself and allow uh, to listen, you know, he needs to listen to other people, take their advice and make a change. He shouldn't have lost his fight. It should have been an easy fight for him. Uh, I am glad that he lost his fight. You know, a lot of people think that people are really care about their predictions. And I say my predictions because that's how I felt. And you know what I'm saying? The beautiful thing, you know, you, you're not going to always be right in how, how you feel. But that's why you put it out here. You can converse and talk about it. But uh, good looking out. Shout out to Marcos Medina on the fight. Within the first couple of rounds, I said it's not going to last. It's over. Fight's over with. And I said that for a specific reason. When you rush Mayweather, all these people think that the way you beat Mayweather is to, to rush him, bully him. They forget that Mayweather knows how to fight just as good as he, he knows how to box. Well, what I saw in the first couple of rounds is that Adrian Broner does not ha know how to fight at all. He has zero, and I, and I literally mean zero, because whenever Medina uh, pushed him and rushed him, all he wanted to do was hold. Hold, push off, hold, push off. And I'm like, he cannot do this the whole round. This fight is over with. It's done. Eventually, he's going to catch him and knock him out. It's over with. Then I say around the end of the third round, coming into the fourth round, the middle of the fight, Adrian Broner started getting those flat feet of his set and went, went. He's the type of fighter that he spoiled like a little kid in the ring. So once he gets set, he has everything the way he wants. Then he's great. He's perfect. Medina, you know, had difficulty with him. And the irony of the situation was I thought that this was Broner's fight to lose when it was Medina's fight to lose. You know, Marcos was losing rounds for no reason. He was losing rounds because he wasn't rushing them. He was allowing Adrian Broner to get set. And I'm like, why is he doing this? I mean, I can see if he was met with adversity, but he wasn't when he do when he rushed him. And that lead left hook was there all night. I don't know if he can't stop it, or I don't know if it's the ego thing where I'll take your shot, you hit me, I'll hit you back, whatever. But it is truly sad to see someone with all of that talent throw it away. And the beautiful thing about boxing is nobody can help you. A trainer can't help you. Nobody can help you in that ring. All, the best thing a trainer can do is he has the, the, the minute between the rounds to try his best to talk reasoning to you. But it's up to the fighter whether they want to listen to it or not. He didn't. He wanted to sit there. He wanted to get in his perfect stance and throw off shots. And he thought that I was going to win the fight. Not against somebody like Marcos. He's a bull. He's a lesser skilled uh, Roberto Duran. Of lesser skill, of course. Uh, the guy has 33 knockouts or, or whatever. 30, 34 fights, 31 knockouts or something like that. Something that into that close. I mean, you have to take that into consideration. But... Um, the, the, here's the thing about Adrian Broner, though, and a lot of people, this is what would have happened if Mayweather would have ever lost a fight. You guys assume he's undefeated, he's a spoiled brat, and you can't wait for him to lose so you can talk shit to him and his whole career is over with, right? No, that's not what's going to happen. Adrian Broner is going to get another big fight, and he's going to win that fight, and he's going to have his dad brush his hair, and he's going to say a lot of shit to piss you guys off that don't like him, and you're going to want him to lose again. He's going to win again, and he's going to win again and again. And you guys are still going to be buying, waiting for him to get his ass whooped again. And then he's going to lose again. He's going to have an up and down career all from up here. And that's the really, really sad part. He doesn't have to. He could have went his whole career going undefeated. Um, I think a prime Ricky Hatton would have beat him. Ricky Hatton is known for not letting you get set. Mayweather beat Ricky Hatton because... When Ricky Hatton rushed Mayweather, Mayweather knew how to fight on the inside. Mayweather was actually beating Hatton on the brawling on the inside. 
that's what Adrian Broner needs to do. He needs to get in the, in the gym and learn how to control these brawlers. Get in there, get glove to glove. When you you know, you know that's what I wanted to see from him. I wanted to see how would he take the pressure. Uh, he he doesn't have to take the pressure. He could have moved, got out. He could have did how Floyd Mayweather's fathers trained Floyd to fight. You know that's good. Floyd was good with the Roger Mayweather uh, style fighting, and he was good with Floyd senior style fighting because he knows how to fight and he knows how to box. Floyd coveted being undefeated so much that he had no ego in the ring. He would listen to instructions because he knew instructions would keep him undefeated. That that longing to not lose made him be open minded to hear from other people. I don't I didn't see that in uh, Broner. And that's why Broner got his ass whipped, got his ass whipped. And I thought it was sad when they took a point from Marcos for a headbutt that was unintentional. One headbutt, this entire fight, like it was round second round or third round where they told uh, Broner, if you push again, the referee told him, if you push again, I'm going to take a point. We're in the 11th round. And he's still saying, this is your last warning. 11th round. And then immediately after that, he did it again and again and again. He did it in the 12th round. They didn't take a point from him. I, you know, maybe it's the, the privilege you get of having a big name or whatever. But I thought that they did him dirty. But I'm so glad that Marcos uh, won the fight. You know, that's pretty much it. But if you let Adrian Broner get set, you see his true talent. Adrian Broner needs to understand from now at his young age to whenever he decides to retire from boxing, fighters are not going to let you get set. You're going to have to learn how to fight. Fight your way through that or learn how to box your way around it without getting trapped on the ropes. One thing else, too, uh, the Philly shell don't work that good for Adrian Broner. He takes a lot of shots to his 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 back from the Philly shell. He hasn't mastered that yet. And when he pulls away, even like round one, like even some of the punches were barely missing when he tried to pull away with the Philly shell style. And I'm thinking it's only a matter of time before that left hook catches him. I mean, your fresh legs and everything in the first round, if you're missing like that, you know, the way he's pulling back and it, it, everything is not tightened up. And he he's not using his ego in the right way. If you're going to have an ego, use it in the right way. Floyd Mayweather's ego allowed him to uh, be open minded, to listen to instructions, to be able to change his game plan, to be able to 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 master fight in different styles because he covered it, not losing. Adrian Broner covered it, not losing. But his ego was used to. I, if this guy hit me, I'm going to hit him back. If he tries to brawl with me, I cannot brawl him. I'm going to try to go back with him. Fucking fucked up the whole game plan, and, and, and that's it, you know? I'm not an Adrian Broner fan, so I don't care one way or the other. I just think it is sad to see talent go to waste. Why can't we have somebody, just just one time, uh, an amazingly talented fighter that would do anything to train in all areas? Anderson Silva, amazingly uh, born, gifted fighter, but doesn't give his all to train takedown defense. He's like, I'll take me down. Okay, I'll find a way out or submit or let you ride me the whole fucking fight. And you get overachievers like GSP, who doesn't have the born given talent, but even though he doesn't have that born given talent, he still trained his ass off. And it got him to defending the title how many times he did before his full retirement. But that's pretty much it, man. Thank you guys for checking me out. Exciting night tonight uh, across battle rap, MMA, and boxing. Crazy night, man. Saturday the 14th did not deliver on the excitement. Oriah Faber beat uh, McDonald in the stand-up. <laughs> battle rapper Sue Sir fucking choked. <laughs> oh my god and demetrius johnson knocked out uh, ben, uh i can't say his fucking name benavidez in the first round and now adrian broner got his ass whipped
crazy Saturday the 14th.